Thomas, happy. Thank you. John, it was a crazy hand that one. 21 mil down to you at the moment, then you come back and have a chance to potentially run it like a wrong. Uh, what does that say about this group and the character they showed tonight? Yeah, I think they were gritty. Um, but, but they also put together some pretty good footy. Um, I think we earned, uh, we earned the seven we got in the first half and then we really rolled our sleeves up in the second half. Um, got a couple of nice line breaks. Um, but so did they. The reality is they maybe could have got more of a margin on the scoreboard if, uh, if they'd finished a couple of opportunities. So we've got to be realistic about that. But... Um, yeah, we, we probably missed a couple of opportunities toward the end there as well, which was really frustrating um, to get so close. Joe, what did you make of uh, the final call from Karthik Smith to the scrum from the Charles Yeah, look, um, it's, it's just one of those things. Um, oh, I thought the referee was pretty consistent through the game. Um, probably a lot, both teams had to play off quite a bit of slow ball. Um, and so there was probably a little bit more licence there than we'd expected, but but he was really consistent with both sides. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Other people will make those decisions, and and uh, we'll have a look at the we'll have a look at the footage for sure. Um, and um, yeah, I haven't chatted I haven't chatted to Hunter uh, <laughs> as yet. I think some of it was was over a uh, ball that that was turned over, and and then we destabilised a little bit defensively. And um, you know, one of the things we've been working on is trying to trying to stay connected. Um, but guys like Will Jordan and and Damian McKenzie, they don't need too much space to uh, to to threaten the line. I thought Caleb Clark was really strong running at the line as well. And once they did get through, it was very hard to contain them. So we got a little bit overspaced um, at times and we didn't kind of stay square off the line. We, we started wedging in and that, that's the corners that they're looking for. Okay, down 24 just after the second half, um, sorry, the start of the second half. Uh, what, what do you say at the moment? What stage did you start just to feel the momentum of the game to your way? Yeah, well, I guess for us in that first half, we didn't have much possession or territory. So we sort of knew when we did have the ball, we got 14 points there. And um, we just wanted to sort of, our sort of motto's been all week, we wanted to win the next moment. And uh, we did that in the second half a lot better. And um, once we held on the ball and got through phases, our shape looked a lot better and we started cutting them up a bit. But um, yeah, it's, it's obviously a bit tougher when you give them that head start there at the start. Yeah, well, um, we sort of said we, we need to start better. We can't really give a team like New Zealand that head start, but uh, we're really proud of the way we worked back into the game and um, we, I guess, put ourselves in a position where we could have won it there at the end. So um, we, we took the positive from that, but in saying that, we we just lost to the Kiwis. So um, we've got to be realistic. Um, we, we, yeah, we need to win those sort of moments. Well, Joshua, does that Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll take our learnings from tonight and we'll, we'll train hard during the week and we'll make sure we come out and um, ready to have a red-hot crack there in Wellington. Um, yeah, we we, uh, we got close tonight, but not close enough, so there's a lot of motivation for us next week. Joe, is this a glass half empty or half full for you, given that first 30 minutes and then the second, the final, the second half, uh, how do you balance the two and come up with the message this week? Yeah, there's not a lot of water in the glass. Um, you know, you, you lose a test match. Um, so, so for us, um, as Harry said, there's things that we've got to learn from. We we can't finish a close second. Um, it's, you know, there's some things to be proud about, and I, I totally agree with Harry around, um, you know, building our way back into the game. But giving a a New Zealand side a, a start like that, it's 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 too tough to overcome that. Um, Albeit, it, it almost did happen at the finish. So, um, it, by no means is it back to the drawing board. I, I think there's there's some things there um, that that they'll be looking at and saying, well, you know, we we were a bit vulnerable here or there. 
Um, and I, I just thought that there were some um, there were some things that we put together that uh, that they'll look at and and um, and be a little bit challenged by. But uh, what we can't do is is turn ball over to them um, or kick loosely to them because uh, I thought <coughs> Will Jordan was outstanding tonight. Um, Damien McKenzie, he maybe didn't finish a couple of opportunities, but geez, he makes them. Um, so, you know, there are a couple of guys who, who obviously stood out um, and, uh, you know, in, in amongst a, a number of guys, you know, the likes of Caleb Clark as well was was really dangerous with, with ball in hand. Do you think you surprised him, Joe? Do you think you surprised them? Not, not at the start. Um, <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe they were surprised because they they went through us pretty quickly. But um, yeah, I, I don't know if we surprised them because I I would have thought that they they were pretty well prepared for you know um, what what we what we would bring based on. You know, that first 30 minutes in Santa Fe, based on a couple of tries that we got in La Plata uh, against Argentina, I, I do think that that we're building a little bit. Um, but no, I, I think I said on Thursday, no progress is linear. So it, it, even in that game, it undulated. And we've got to get as linear as we can in the improvements we make because... What we can't do is lapse somewhere else if we're looking to improve in, in one particular area. You know, I, I thought one of the standout areas in uh, Santa Fe was our lineout, and um, today um, it, it was it was a, a much tougher uh, day at the office as far as the lineout was concerned. So things, you know, tend to, they do tend to fluctuate. Scrums today. Scrums. I, I thought I thought we were pretty solid, um, and uh, you know, as part of that scrum was. You know, slips coming on there for for number 140 was pretty special, I think. And and um, you know, he got a knock, but uh, he's pretty keen to get back on there um, and uh, and finish the game. And and he wasn't too far away from from maybe even getting over uh, at one stage. Uh, unfortunately, not close enough. Was that like what you expected tonight? Yeah, they were really dangerous off loose ball. Um, they. Uh, they kick a fair bit, but they kick well. So they turn you around and you've got to play from deep. I think we had about a third of the territory in the first half. So they had two thirds of it. So so we, we, we were kind of locked in our own third. Um, and uh, that, that, they're really strong at the set piece. We knew that would be the case. And, and so that gives them a platform to play, for, play off and... And, and the other platform they, they play really well off is any loose kicking or loose ball, and we actually provided a little bit of that for them as well, unfortunately. Gary, you had about 25 tackles tonight, but one time you uh, slipped the escort, beat Corabetti down the field and tackled Will Jordan. Was that your favourite tackle tonight? Yeah, yeah um, I guess any time you can try and try and get a tackle on Will Jordan because he's, uh, he's quite hard to tackle normally, so try to get after him there, but um, yeah, no. Nah. So now you're kick chasing. Yeah, only when it's, you can get a little free hit there. Yeah, all the coaches and all the players often come in here and say they might have flight from Australia or the, the grittiness, the, the ability to stay in the flight. Is there enough time left between now and next year in the lines to marry up the detail that you want with the flight so you're just not relying on the flight to get your matches? Yeah, I thought there was some pretty good detail out there. Um, and... and Talking to a couple of the All Blacks, they they felt stressed when we got into a bit of shape and and um, got a few options running. So, you know, it's you're right, Pato. It's not perfect, but it's but but it's something to build on. And, and the grittiness, it, I, you always want that. You gotta you gotta have that. And um, and we saw evidence of that, which is which is something we've got to replicate. You gotta stay gritty, but. You're right. If we can nail a little bit more of that detail, and even even towards the end, I know uh, when Lenny scored, there's there's a pretty clear knock on from from Andrew Callaway. But you know, I, I think opening them up there was, was was still pretty effective. We just need to execute better. Joe, a lot of chopping, changing, and selection wise this season, but the team about there tonight. Do you feel like you're getting close to your strongest team? And would you know benefit from? Yeah, yes and no. I, 
you know, we thought it was the right team for this for this occasion, and there were some tough calls. You know, Carla Tizano has been outstanding, and um, you know, Fraser built his way into the game, and he's got a massive engine, Fraser McWright. So, you know, there were a few uh, close calls there. Jake Gordon has been really good for us this year, and and Nick White went out and. Um, you know, certainly played well, discussed the game well, um, and uh, you know, I, I just, I just felt that there were a couple of change-ups that, that we did make that, that that didn't look too bad. It was it was good to have Hunter Posami back in there. He's a, he, you know, he is a punchy, punchy player who who can give you advantage line, um, and uh, you know, his combination with Lenny Akito is 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 one that's been around for quite some time, uh, albeit that. Hamish Stewart did a great job, particularly in La Plata, uh, when we won that game against Argentina. So, yeah, there's there's a few there's a few changes. Luke Hahn uh, was coming back from injury. Uh, I thought he came on and made a, a really good impression off the bench. So, um, you know, there, there were a few guys who came off the bench and, and did a good job. Uh, Joe, just on a bigger question about the cup format, I wonder if you've got a comment about. Um, you know, how it's a two-match series. And uh, we've come here tonight, and you've only just gone down narrowly, and that's it for another year. Uh, you know, do you think it should be like a one-off game or a three-match series? It, it seems a very hard thing to win that. Yeah, I, I was pretty happy with that, um, with that arrangement last year and the year before. <laughs> um, <laughs> But but now I'm not so happy about that arrangement. Um, you know, we'd we'd love it to be uh, still alive. You know, I, I think the people, the, the public in Wellington, um, I think it's sold out, and um, it'll be a cracking atmosphere. But if there was something live on the game, it it, it would be great. Um, it, so that, that that's something that people, other people, make decisions about. We just get to decide which way we're going to kick. Well, we don't actually. Harry hasn't won a toss yet, but um, but we're looking forward to getting to make a decision around that at some stage. Last couple, please. Joe, did you have any doubt about the fortitude of this group coming back from No, not really. And and uh, I, th I think you wouldn't underestimate the the I suppose the value of of James Slipper in a in a group. He is he is real glue. And the respect that he has amongst the group, there's no way the group were just going to give it up uh, with Slips having his 140th cap. So we can't get inspired by a one-off occurrence where we're emotionally attached to it. We've got to be um, a little bit more pragmatic than that. But I, I did think it was a really gritty performance, and, and that, that, that certainly shows some promise. Last one, please. Um, defensively, Yeah, we. I think because we're starting from scratch, a, a lot of sides have had a lot of time together. You know, I, having coached Jordy and, and Rico, um, they, they they work really well together. They've had a lot of time. Hunter was first time back in, so you're not trying to destabilise yourself. So you, you're trying to build, and I think defensive systems become a little bit multifaceted once you've got a rhythm and and a real understanding of getting one way right first of all and then, and then building to, to to put pressure on others but you know in the end it was four it was four tries each so um, I think both defensive systems uh, did well and and not so well at times thanks guys appreciate that thank I'll you come back and we'll James to the bill, which will be under embargo at 1pm tomorrow Sydney time thank you yes, Thanks. 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 Thanks.